Welcome to User and I, the channel where I explore all things UX and UI design. Today I'm back with another tip, but it's more like an organisational one for all of the Figma users out there and people who have several projects of course. And it's this feature that I discovered the other day called Set as Thumbnail. So let's say for example, if I design an example thumbnail here, well to be fair we don't need that as a shape. Um, I'm going to choose a background, let's go for, let's actually use an actual real. Right, let's design something cute for my project file. I'm going to take my logo, then I'm going to set this background to there, paying attention to the guides and then I'm going to call it user and I, I'm going to scale that up, center align it and I'm going to plop that there and I'm also going to user and I and we're going to call this YouTube episodes. I'm going to scale that down. I'm going to make that an auto layout because for some reason I do that for no reason these days. Even when I don't need it. I'm going to scale that down as well. And yeah, I'm going to group those as well, make down auto layout. And I'm also very thankful that Figma have started to include negative spacing between elements. It's absolutely fantastic. I've wanted that for so long. Um, and then I'm going to scale this up for no reason at all. But it's literally just to demonstrate what's going to happen here. Um, I'm also going to make all of this white. And of course, just because this is always fun to do, this is also one of my favorite tiny design elements, if I'm honest, is you've got a rectangle, you add a little stroke and you turn down the transparency just a tiny bit. It adds a nice little tiny effect on the edge. Very soft, very subtle, but nonetheless. And what we're gonna do is that we're gonna right click here and we're going to click set as thumbnail. Now what you'll immediately notice is one thing immediately, which is that it's now got a little thumbnail icon, but you'll also recognize it here as well. But you might be thinking what on earth has happened? Why have I just done that? Well, if you go back to home and you can see all your little projects there, what you'll find is this. You can now, amongst all your other files, see exactly what you're looking at. Now this could be really useful in Teams, this could be really useful if you're sharing your Figma with other people, but it really does make a change when you can just look right, look across your projects and see, oh right, that's the one I'm looking for. It's also really great for branding as well. So on your next project, or this could be something that would probably set you apart from other designers if you get a UI job or a UX job. Feel free to use all these tips, whether it's in your personal work or in your new job. It really helps for organization. Let me know what you think because I was blown away when I found this out the other day. I really didn't know it was a thing until I was just right clicking and exploring all the options in Figma as I do and I saw the option here. Um, when you actually set it to a custom thumbnail, you can also scroll back and click reset and if you go back home what you should find is that it will set it to the artboard now that you have in the project like it does in other applications i mean in other projects but as soon as you again set it as thumbnail with the right click you'll quickly see don't be alarmed it does take maybe like a few minutes to update and then you'll see just back here it's changed again I hope you found this as useful as I did and as always I'll see you on the next episode.